What's going on guys? Uh, this is the first tutorial in about seven months that I'm uploading to this channel. Uh, thank you guys for sticking with this channel for so long. I greatly appreciate it. But yeah, in this tutorial, we're going to be doing a directional dash uh, ability. So if I shift lock here and then I'm holding A, I dash left. If I'm holding D, I dash right. S, I dash backwards. And then W, I dash forwards. Unfortunately, there is no directional movement here or diagonal movement, it is just on the four axis. But yeah, without further ado, let's get started. This entire tutorial is actually only gonna be one script and it's gonna be a local script in starter character script. So let's make that. Once you have this local script, you can name it to whatever you want. For this tutorial, since it's only gonna be a dash, uh, we'll just name it dash. But if you wanna have all of your movement abilities in one script for like optimization or whatnot, that's all fun. If you're planning on adding more movement abilities to this game, which again, just having a dash, that's a little bare bones, don't you think? But yeah, to start off the script, we're gonna need to define some stuff. So I'll define them and then come back to you guys. All right, starting off, we're just defining some variables. So the first one is the local player. So just getting the player from game.players.local player. Next one is getting the player's character. Uh, which is what we're going to actually apply the dash to. And then next, we're going to get the user input service. This is how we're going to register users' uh, key inputs and whatnot. And then finally, we're going to make a local variable that's just dash velocity. I have it named dash velo because velocity, just typing it over and over again, seems like a little repetitive and I like to abbreviate some stuff. But yeah, the next bit that we're going to code is actually registering key inputs. So I'll see you guys when I code that. So that's what we have right here. I'm spacing it out just for convenience sake and actually making it readable. Uh, but yeah, what we have is user input dot input began connect and then we're going to get the key that was pressed or like like the input began with. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to check if that key code is left shift or left control. I mean, you can bind this to whatever. So let's say you wanted your dash ability to be Q. You could have it be Q. You could have it be E, you could have it be literally any number or character on the keyboard. For this tutorial, I'm going to bind it to left control just because that's what some games have their control or dash built to. And the only one that I really can't do is left shift because that's how we do our shift lock. But yeah, now I'm going to actually code the dash. And this is going to be the big part of the script that will be like, a, there will be a giant if statement. Uh, Bear with me here. All right. So this is the code for the actual dash. So basically what we do is we create a new body velocity, label it dash. And then we set the max force just in case some bullshittery happens. We just need to have a cap, a safety cap. And then this is this if statement here that kind of looks like spaghetti code. Please bear with me here. Uh, this is basically seeing if a character has or the player has any other keys down when they hit left control in order to dash. Basically, user input service dot key is down or is key down. Basically, it's asking if W, the W key is down when they hit left control to dash. And if it is, basically what we're going to do is we're going to set the dash velocity to in the direction that the character is looking is what look vector is and then we're going to actually give them a velocity of the dash velocity that we defined earlier again this number up here you can change if you want a faster dash or like a dash that sends you farther you can up this number if you want a, a slower dash then you can lower this number it's up to you i'm kind of losing my voice here i've been talking a lot today but yeah and then we run that same else if statement for every other key that is a movement key so if the player is a holding a we're going to get the right vector of the character and we're going to send them in the opposite direction of the right character with this velocity. Why we have to do this to, in order to send them left because they're holding A, it's because there is no left vector in Roblox. It is only right vector. And basically it just, you have to do a negative sign in order to send them left because what is the opposite of right? Left. If you send them negative, to the right then it'll send them left and it's the same thing for this except it's negative of the look vector so it'll send him or it'll send the character backwards from where they're looking and we'll set that to s and then for d it's sending them actually to the right and this little else bit is basically if there isn't a movement key hit we're gonna by default send them forward so basically just send them in the same way that they would be sent if they we're holding down W. And then finally, we'll parent this body velocity to the character humanoid root part to actually make the character move. Now, you th might think that this is it, but it is not, because if I were to play this, you'll see 
just... It doesn't stop. I'm going to continuously dash into the void forever. So, we need to make it so the player stops the dash after a allotted period of time. And that's what I'm going to do right now. So this is how I'm going to actually slow the dash down and then stop it. Basically, there's probably a little bit of a more efficient way to do this. But basically, how I like to do it is basically it'll iterate through a 1 through 7 count loop. And for every time, it will basically wait a tenth of a second and then slow the dash velocity down by like 30%. Basically, what it will do is for 1 through 7, every like tenth of a second for seven tenths of a second it will basically slow the dash velocity down by 30 percent and then after this for loop is up it will just destroy the dash outright and yeah that's actually all the code that we need for now if we test it oh let me shift lock and then control look at that you have a dash it works in all the directions and then if i'm not holding any movement key it'll just send me forward yeah, pretty simple. You can e very easily expand on this and everything. Again, this is for either first person or shift lock. Because if you're outside third person and you're like moving around like this, obviously you're going to have some issues with the movement and stuff. You can very easily expand on this because this itself is actually very simple. If you want to add like an up dash ability, you could do another if code and then just like whatever control you want and then you can basically make it so the player goes up instead of out but yeah that's all for this tutorial thank you guys so much for watching if you have any other tutorial suggestions please let me know in the comments and i'll try to see if they're within my skill range to do and yeah thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you guys in the next one goodbye